Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this new video. So in my previous videos, we have discussed with the concepts of uh, beta ratio and uh, noise margins. Okay, from module two. So we have left in only few of the concepts now pending from module two that we are going to cover it in around uh, two to three videos. Okay, so stay tuned for that. So today's video we are going to discuss with some of the alternate CMOS inverters. Okay. So the in briefly we have discussed in module one about the CMOS inverter, right? It's functioning and all. But we have some of the alternate CMOS inverters. If you in case if uh, some problem comes in the uh, circuit building part, and uh, when an inverter we could be applying with different applications. For that we have uh, some of the very important inverters. That is pseudo NMOS inverter and tri-state inverter. Okay. So this tri-state inverter we have uh, in uh, not in brief but some introduction part we have uh, already discussed it in module one if you remember okay it is there in module one we have discussed already that in brief I'm going to tell you now with this uh, notes I have provided you with the, some of the explanation about both these inverters one is a pseudo NMOS inverter and tri-state inverter so we are going to discuss these two inverters in this video okay so first is pseudo NMOS inverter. So again guys, those who have not watched the previous videos which I have covered till now, please go and watch it. The, it is available in the playlist. Okay. Pseudo NMOS inverter. This inverter uses a PMOS transistor as a pull-up, but its gate is permanently grounded. Okay. This is one uh, functioning of the pseudo inverter which you need to be remembering very carefully. That is, in this the gate is grounded permanently. That is the gate voltage is nullified and the value is equal to zero. You see here in this uh, plot only you could be mentioned referring here. In this plot you see here uh, uh, there are two branches of uh, inverters here which are connected where the gate voltages for both these PMOS transistors are grounded here. You see here. So that's why the VGSP voltage is nullified. This means that the PMOS is always in on state. Okay. When the gate voltage is grounded then it's obvious that the PMOS is always in on state. Similar to the use of Depletion mode in NMOS in NMOS logic. The NMOS transistor acts as pull down device and it switches normally. Okay. Normally means that it would be either 0 or 1 based on the uh, uh, transistor as a switch condition whether it is on or off. Okay. So that is normal condition. But for PMOS, it is permanently grounded. So it is if it is permanently grounded, the switch condition is uh, in uh, open switch. So the uh, for a switch condition is in closed switch. So that's why it is always on. Okay, so some of the key characteristics of this uh, pseudo NMOS inverter, they are when the NMOS is in on state, the current continuously flows from VDD to ground and the DC power is dissipated, which is a disadvantage. Next is the shape of the transfer characteristic and the outflow voltage depends on the ratio of the transistor strength that is a beta ratio. This ratio is determined using two cascaded pseudo NMOS inverters. Okay. As shown in this figure, these are the two cascaded inverters here. Cascaded means they are uh, uh, put in a single branch. Okay, this ratio has been determined using these two cascaded inverters to ensure signal levels are not degraded during the cascading. Okay, so condition for proper cascading, you see here, input voltage of second inverter V in is equal to the output voltage of the first inverter. Okay is equal to the inverter threshold voltage for balanced noise margin the uh, threshold voltage inverter is equal to is slightly equal to the half of vdd that is 0.5 vdd operating region at uh, v inverter equal to 0.5 vdd that is uh, in operating region the nmos here is in saturation pmos here is in linear so the resulting beta ratio to meet this condition is equal to beta beta n by beta p is uh, nearly equal to 3 by 1 or it is equal to 3 okay beta n uh, is equal to 3 times of beta p applications used in n rich circuits where uh, pmos transistors are minimized common in static uh, read only memories roms and programmable logic arrays that is pls this design trades of power efficiency for area or performance okay so this was in brief about uh, pseudo and MOS inverter. Okay, with this cascaded diagram also I have discussed. So please uh, note it down. 
next one more kind is alternate tri state invert okay so this figure we have already discussed so this is the diagram of a cmos tri state inverter okay where they where we are they have used two of the pmos transistors with the enable and enable bar uh, enable these two this stands for the opposite of this so when this uh, switch is uh, when this is used as a switch and when it is on this would be off and when this is on this would be off okay so these are inversely these are uh, in the series they are connected invertedly so that's why this is called as a tri state invert okay another type is tri state inverter which is shown here okay working when control line or the enable line could be calling as control line or enable when that is equal to zero output is in high impedance state okay output is not driven but when the control line is equal to 1 the output that is z is not of a okay that is it would be getting inverted this allows multiple outputs to share the same bus without any interference okay so that is the main point part of this working next is performance with equally sized nmos and pmos devices this inverter is about half as fast as the standard cmos inverter that is uh, it is uh, the functioning of this uh, tri state inverter is uh, uh, low as compared to the standard cmos inverter okay it is about half as fast as the standard cmos inverter it is useful for clocked logic latches multiplexers and input output circuits okay further details on the tri state inverter would be discussed in the fifth module okay so these things uh, are the some basic points from this second module which you need to be knowing for the tri state inverter which comes under alternate cmos inverters okay so we have discussed both these kinds of inverters one is the pseudo nmos inverter its characteristics applications definitions with respect to the cascaded form also we have discussed its operating regions resulting in the beta ratio and some of the applications of uh, this and the tri state inverter the circuit and uh, working and performance everything we have discussed in this video so that's all for this video guys so in this video we have discussed two kinds of alternate cmos inverters pseudo C nmos and tri state inverter so please watch till the end guys if you want to understand something and uh, this notes i'm going to provide it in the description so if you want to access this notes please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, copy the link in the browser and open it okay uh, so then you could be accessing this notes okay so if you access this notes and study from this notes for a final exam or internal point of view easily you could be scoring a, a minimum marks is for sure you would be scoring more than that for sure because these notes are uh, not uh, through ai tools and all because we are provided by manually searching from textbooks all the circuit diagrams the screenshots of circuits everything we are provided from the textbooks and all okay so that's all for this video guys thank you for watching till now we'll see you in the next video thank you